What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the one thing that you should not forget if you are an LVAD patient. If you've been an LVAD patient for quite some time, then you already know about this, but if you are a new LVAD patient, or you are about to get an LVAD, they go over these things with you, but just in case you came across this video, the one thing that you should not forget, and it is very important, is the LVAD backup bag. It looks something like this. Give you guys a quick turnaround for that. And this bag holds your life. In this bag, there are batteries that you would need just in case of an emergency, an extra controller in case of an emergency, and there's going to be your letter explaining your condition and what everything is. So, like I said, starting with the batteries, there's going to be two fully charged batteries. Always. Let me show the other one. This right here is your extra backup controller. One thing that you need to know about this controller is you should always make sure that this is charged. Um, every once in a while, I like to plug it in and still make sure it's charged. And to make sure it's charged or to make sure it's charging, I'm going to show you guys right now how to exactly do that. Now, you just take one of your batteries, don't matter which one. And you take one of your battery clips. You plug that in. Now, you can take any cord and you just plug it in it is going to make a noise right now and I'm going to show you you should see it light up so I'm going to show you guys but you guys should see it light up or something like that so you're just going to plug it in normally and then you guys can see there we go charging I'll turn it over to the back side of the bag there is going to be a pocket with a zipper you want to zip that and there should be a letter now, this is the letter that I was telling you guys about in the beginning of the video, and it's just the letter that explains your condition and what the device is inside of you. This letter states, to whom it may concern, this letter to inform you that the person carrying this letter, whose identifying information appears below, has special health care needs. The patient has a Therotech ventricular assist device, which is, you know, in short, VAD, or blood pump. The device takes over the pumping function of the patient's sick or weakened heart so that the, pump, the patient's lung organs and tissues get the oxygen rich blood they need. The VAD is a life sustaining device and requires the, pa the patient to be connected tw 24 hours per day, 7 days per week. The pump will operate when connected to battery power or a 10 pound power module. In addition, the batteries are charged by using a universal battery charger which is a separate unit. It is our understanding that the patient cannot plug the power module into an outlet while on the plane but he will have an adequate power from his batteries which the patient will wear in pairs and should last approximately six to eight hours per pair. You should expect the patient to travel with approximately eight lithium sealed lead batteries as well as his power module or cable to connect the unit to the patient, a universal battery charger, two system controllers, one on the patient and one as backup in his bag, which is this bag right here. He may not always have all his equipment but all is required for fire travels. This equipment is mandatory and patient's pump will stop causing the patient to die if the patient is left without power. All equipment should be hand inspected as it cannot go undergo x-ray inspection. The patient cannot be exposed to magnetic fields. I am requesting your help in assisting the passenger through the check-in, security, and boarding process. In addition, the patient will always need the above equipment to remain with him and cannot risk separation. Thank you in advance for your assistance. If you should have questions about the device, feel free to contact the ventricular assist device coordinator on call at the number down below. We are accessible 24 hours per day, 7 hours per week to assist in any way necessary. Now, like I said, if you are a new LVAT patient or if you're in the hospital going through tests before you get the LVAT and you came across this video, I hope this video helped you out a little bit. And that is the end of this video. So if you guys like what you've seen, Please make sure to hit that like button. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And then hit that bell so you can notify when I upload another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Behind the scenes, here we go. Uh, I don't want you guys thinking I cannot read. I did not have my glasses on, obviously, as you guys seen in the video. But I got my glasses on and I got the letter right here. So I'm just going to read like two lines with my glasses on to show you guys that I can read. It was just that I did not have my glasses on so that it, it may seem like I can't read. Okay. The patient has a Therotech ventricular assist device, VAD or blood pump. This device takes over the pumping function of the patient's sick or weakened heart so that the patient's lungs, organs, and tissues get the oxygen-rich blood they need. Boom. 
I can read. I can read. See this? This is a winner's face.